There are also some concerns about an increase of people driving under the influence starting on Friday. Angel Saucedo tells us this is something police are preparing for. Whether it's drinking alcohol or consuming cannabis, police tell me impairment is impairment. And if you're caught driving after doing either, they will enforce the law. It just has no business behind the wheel. Using marijuana will be legal on Friday. Cannabis can impair your coordination, your perception, your judgment, your reaction times. But driving afterwards will definitely not be. DWIs are not limited to alcohol. We're going to see an increase in DWIs. We're going to see an increase of crashes. Charles Fines is an officer and a drug recognition expert. We asked him how much cannabis is too much to drive. It's going to be different for everybody. Drugs offer such a huge complexity outside of alcohol because you're dealing with different substances, hundreds and thousands of different chemicals. Organizations like Mothers Against Drunk Driving are making it a priority to fight drug impaired driving. Driving is a complicated task. Um, you know, it's a divided attention, a very dangerous activity. So really any substance that is going to impair the ability to do that should really not be taken. Their goal is to educate on the dangers of driving under the influence. Designating a driver and making the choice to not get behind the wheel of the vehicle really is uh, paramount. And it may not be new, but Charles believes it will be more frequent. So we've been dealing with it for a while, so uh, we'll just continue doing what we're doing. And APD tells me they'll be establishing these DWI checkpoints this Friday to make sure they're cracking down on driving under the influence. Angel Salcedo, KOAT Action 7 News. We reached out to APD, but they didn't have anyone available to talk. They did say they have several drug recognition expert officers, and they're prepared to train more if they start to see an increase in these cases.